Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another general reading for the month of December, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and I feel like you have a very important decision to make. Um, maybe it's even a decision that you are trying not to think about, but it's almost like you can feel the universe pushing you towards um, doing something because I feel like time is of the essence, but it's also kind of like a situation where you can only avoid it for so long before it really starts to affect you. And I feel like the universe doesn't want this to affect you more than it already is. And I feel like you can really set yourself free um, from uh, whatever this is simply by making a decision that you feel resonates with you the most. I feel like you have some pressure maybe from individuals around you at this time to make a very specific decision. Like maybe you have friends or family members that are like, I think you should do this, right? They're giving you their opinions and you're like, all right, I need to make sense of all this. Uh, but I feel like the universe is saying, just choose what you feel is best for you, Cancer. Listen to your gut first. Um, so again, two of pentacles right behind um, with the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like two of cups, two of pentacles could represent that this has to do with a relationship. And for the overall energy, we also have three of swords, judgment, four of cups, and the seven of wands. So again, there's an energy of you need to make a decision because eventually um, this could create some tension, some conflict, maybe just stress overall. I feel like you don't need this, right? The universe is like, you have a lot of things to look forward to, a lot of things going on. The last thing you need is for this to continue to affect you or hurt you. Um, I feel like the Three of Swords could indicate that maybe this has to do with a third party situation, maybe a betrayal. Maybe there's something unexpected that happened here. And so now you're trying to make sense of the situation. Four of Cups, you're thinking about it quite a lot. And I think that your judgment is changing um, a bit as well. Maybe some days you think you know how you feel about this. And then other days, a different type of emotion comes in and takes center stage. And maybe you're just trying to think about it and ask yourself, am I hurt? Am I angry? Am I frustrated? Am I concerned? Am I curious? Right? Like maybe you're trying to make sense of what you feel. And that's why it's the decision is so hard to make. However, I do think though that there is something very important that you need to think about and it's you. I feel like the seven of wands represents that if you don't stand up for yourself in this situation, then you're not really proving to yourself, right? That you come first. And I feel like you need to do that, right? Let's go ahead and clarify the three of swords. All right, page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this could also be about you choosing to accept an opportunity here that um, looks like it was made for you. I feel like you could be feeling caught in between two very different scenarios. Uh, maybe you're asking for advice, you know, from those those around you, but I feel like you know deep down inside what you really want to do here. Um, and I think that it's time to tap into that. We have the Hermit, which is Virgo, um, Five of Swords, and the World. I feel like a new chapter is opening up for you, Cancer, but if you are afraid to take it because of, you know, others or whatever reason that is holding you back at this time, I feel like you need to let that go and just let your intuition kind of speak for you. Because I really think that you are excited about this opportunity. I feel like you are eager to take it and see what happens. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups um, right next to each other. So I do feel like this is something you are passionate about. I do think that, you know, maybe the hardest part is accepting, um, that this will involve change right and maybe that's the the most difficult part maybe that's what's you know representing this five of swords that internal conflict but i feel like the hermit is saying look within and ask yourself will you regret it if you didn't take this chance right would you be okay if this opportunity came and went and i think that with that question if you really think about it um you might come to a conclusion that helps you look, feel more comfortable about this journey moving forward. So I feel like the Three of Swords, now that I think about it, could even represent you kind of taking this away from yourself because of fear, because of judgment, right? Maybe judgment is representing the way that you think other people will feel about this. I feel like the universe is like, let's make it simple. Would you want this um, to pass you by, right? Would you regret it? Or is your intuition calling you to this? Um, so I really think that this is about mindset. 
let's go ahead and clarify the five of swords all right nine of cups again this is really about how you feel and the fact that you really need to um, honor that more than anything we have the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I feel like you know what you have to do here. I feel like the Ace of Swords is representing that you've had that moment of clarity already. You know what your heart is telling you about this situation. Ten of Pentacles, this is an opportunity that really does have the potential to um, bring in more abundance, bring in that security, that financial independence. Queen of Pentacles, this is a major opportunity, uh, but it does seem like maybe there are multiple people right, that are fighting for this opportunity, or maybe this, there's a limited amount of time that you have to make this decision. I feel like now um, is a time, almost like now or never, but I do feel that Nine of Cups is saying it starts with you. If you don't believe in yourself, or if you don't think that you deserve it, then that's where everything starts. So I really hope that you take it all in, and if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.